Precious Treasures or Tainted Trophies Boris Johnson and Zach Goldsmith are convinced people should hate trophies like these and they're determined to ban imports of them to the UK. The government might be facing an uphill battle. Many people disagree with them, as the booming trade in taxidermy proves. Collectors are still keen to get their hands on these exotic pieces. Some of these items were actually hidden in the owner's attic. His wife knew he loved taxidermy, but it wasn't until after his death she discovered the true extent of his passion. It's one of the most unique collections in private hands. Kevin Gittos collected hundreds of items at his home in Worcestershire. His widow Julie put them up for auction in February 2022. Like trophy auctions up and down the UK, they made high prices. Old trophies have never been so popular. A lot of the African examples we've got in the sale, you know, you can no longer, you know, for example, you know, elephant's feet, you know, is a big no-no. Um, and, you know, a lot of the, you know, the species here that is dating back to Victorian times is now obviously, you know, protected species. So, you know, you, you, it's not something that, um, you know, collectors can, you know, obviously source today if they wanted to. Taxidermy was considered to be an art form in the Victorian era. It gave people the chance to get up close and personal with animals they wouldn't normally see. It's still just as popular today. Tom Douglas and his father Sean have a family taxidermy business in Wiltshire that's thriving. Very popular in the Victorian times, then it died off a bit for general people. Surprisingly, in modern days, even vegans um, and vegetarians are big buyers of mine uh, for ethically sourced taxidermy, so stuff that's roadkill, not so much shot, etc. Absolutely flat out lately. It's very popular at the moment and just keeps getting busier. Uh, we're getting a lot of work from new people to the sport who shoot their first birds or fishermen catch their first big fish. A uh, lot of stuff's trophy deer. People shoot a, a big deer, a big trophy, or even their first animal of a species and want to save it as a memory on the wall. Zach's proposed ban on importing hunting trophies didn't stop buyers from all over the world getting their hands on the Kevin Gitto's collection. It all started because the collector loved shooting. I introduced him to shooting and things like that. And My uh, father was uh, in West Africa and of course in, in the colonial service and what they do was shoot animals and stuff animals and collect relics and of course he come back to, from Africa during the war and I suppose whether a bit rubbed on to Kevin, I don't know. The private pre-auction viewing of the collection at Bishton Hall in Staffordshire was busy with buyers. It's a great collection, what I can see of it. So mainly I'm interested in the fish. Um, the, I, I mean, also fascinated by the heads because it's almost repugnant now to see them, you know, that, in my youth, I used to see old photographs and think, oh, wow, they look incredible. And now they're almost a thing from the past. So that's a really interesting collection. Unbelievable. It's just simply unbelievable. A lot of overseas interest. Um, now, obviously, with auctions, I moved a little bit online. So with that, it means that it's opened the world up a lot more to bidding just from the UK and a lot more shipping companies have you know expanded their sort of um aspect to you know get these flown around the world the auction raised more than eleven thousand pounds much higher than expected the top single bid of 850 pounds was for a mounted fox an african lion head sold for 541 pounds it's got a it's got a set niche of collectors and you know they have big collections um, and they're always looking for a different species to add to their collection and it's a case of what they want to do is have one example of everything um, in their collection and what's going to happen to the money raised at the sale kevin's widow julie is donating it to a cancer charity 